Okay guys, so uh haven't put up a video in a while, uh been real busy with work and, and whatnot. But uh doing a little fur handling tonight. Uh there's that nice nice red there we had, just got him skinned out. Uh you know, I've been working a lot lately, uh 10, 12 hours we've been uh trying to finish up the road project I've been on. So uh you know the trapping thing, it's I've been plugging away at it slowly, but it's you know, I hadn't been the numbers uh, I usually get with my work schedule, but uh, you know, we're getting along with it. There's a, uh, you know, I got a couple rows of coons there. There's a couple rows of possums. You know, a few canines back there. Uh, you know, and then over here I got, you know, the there's some coons and some skunks and some possums there, uh, all ready to ready to go and whatnot. But uh, anyway. You know, uh, been getting that road project done and whatnot. Uh, I'll put a link to it up. Uh, if you guys never seen a, a concrete road build, you know, that had a crew out this summer and they kind of made a video of it uh, uh, for the company I work for. It's pretty interesting. Uh, I'll put a link down below. But uh, anyway, I just want to kind of make a little update. Uh, you know, plugging along, getting a few here and there. Uh, Hopefully work will slow down here after a little while and uh, be able to, uh, to get get at it a little harder. And uh, anyway, I just wanted to to uh, thank thank everybody there uh, who commented on my request video. Uh, I'll uh, take all of them into consideration, and uh, hopefully I'll be able to uh, hopefully be able to get some videos out that you guys you guys want to see. Uh, I've got here, uh, I've had a bunch of requests on my fleshing beam here, so, uh, you know, I'll try to get one of those up in the next couple of days, uh, and then hopefully, uh, as the weather breaks here in the next couple of weeks, uh, I'll be able to get, get, I had a lot of requests for, uh, set construction, how I do all my sets and whatnot, and, uh, right now it's snowing real hard. Storm blew in tonight. Uh, we're expecting five to seven inches. So uh, after storm breaks, hopefully we'll get out and uh, and get you some sets uh, construction info. So uh, anyway, guys, uh, I did manage to to put together uh, enough uh, clips there to make a, a decent catch video for you guys. I feel uh, you know we're working that many hours. A lot of my checks were in the dark. So uh, but I did manage to to put together a few. So. Uh, Here's a few catches. Uh, hope you guys enjoy. Uh, we'll check back with you here in a minute. Okay guys, we've got our first catch here of 2013-2014. We've got a pond coming out of the woods. There's a trail right there. Set of dog proof, staked out in deep water. There's our first coon of the season. Okay, here we got our uh, second coon today. We're just a few, few traps down. Big old coon here, right here on this edge of this creek bank. They're running. We'll get them taken care of and move on. Alright guys, here's our first coon of 2013-2014. It's a big one. There's the rebel dog. He's happy. Talk to us a little bit, rebel dog. Alright, we'll get him shot out. Get back with you. Okay, guys. A little ways down the line. Uh, I don't know how this, well, this is going to come up. You can tell it got dark there on me. Uh, but, got a, got a real nice uh, red fox here. Real nice. He's a big one too. Uh, got him on a uh, a blind set there, under a, uh, a, a fence crossing there. That's coming up underneath it, and uh, put a foothold there in a in a low spot right right where they'd step in it. And this is the second check on this trap. Uh, second day, matter of fact, for everything. 
and uh, there's a nice, nice red fox. So we get him taken care of and uh, and move on. Okay, guys. So uh, anyway, the uh, second day here checking traps. Uh, got this nice coon here, big coon, and boy is he black. Look at that coon, man. He he is dark. We don't get that many real real dark coons like that. He's a big one too. Got what we did is little pond right in here kind of off the edge of a field in timber got a dog proof set right there and then uh, right here on the edge of the pond and then if you look right down there is another coon and all that set was I'll walk right over it's just 50 feet or so Another real, real nice tune there. Uh, caught here in a one and a half. And all this was was just a uh, trap set there next to a tree with just a, a little bait smeared underneath the roots there. All that was. You can see that's a one and a half that I double jawed and uh, almost no foot damage to that coon. No foot damage at all. So that's real good. Uh, we'll get them taken care of then and, and move down the line. Alright guys. Okay guys, so uh, here is uh, day two's catch there. Uh, yesterday didn't do real good didn't have very many sets out today got a few more sets out or yesterday rather had to work today and uh, run the line I didn't get that much footage you got dark on me but uh, anyway just wanted to make a little video here of, uh, of the end result ended up with uh, with nine coons one skunk one possum and one real nice red fox so uh, not bad for uh, for working 10 hours and then running the line. So uh, anyway, I got lots of work here to do before I go to bed. Got to work tomorrow. Okay, so we set up this line yesterday. And this is just one of those spots that just keep producing year after year. And here we have coon here and a dog proof. You can see we got a lot of ice making conditions tough. But then right right down there there's another coon so we're off to a pretty good start okay guys I, uh, I know it's dark but uh, anyway there's our uh, our first coyote of the year this is uh this is check day three uh, this set was put in opening day so uh, you know Three days on a coyote's not bad. Not bad at all. See? Got him right there. This is a Duke number four. I love these traps. See that? Absolutely no foot damage whatsoever. Caught above the pad. That's exactly how you want to catch these guys. Real nice coyote. Good fur on him you know so anyway there's our first coyote we got our first fox last night you know so uh canines are starting to pick up you know we'll get them taken care of and uh move on okay so uh just a little ways down the creek again and we have our third coon of this area yeah uh, another nice coon pretty dark one so uh we're doing pretty good get them taken care of move on all right check it sets today Right here on the edge of this field, uh, right here, right here in the corner, drops way down to the bottoms. Trail coming up, canes are using it, dog proof right there. There's your end result. Nice big, big boar coon. You can take care of, move on. 
All right, so setting this creek here. Coon on a drowner right there. Big creek, set it along the bank. Come down here to the corner. Right there in the water. Another big old coon. Two big old coons. If you can drown them, always drown them. Much easier to take a drowned coon out than a live one. Okay. Here we have a, another coyote here. Real nice coyote. Uh, set was put in three days ago. This is the third check on this set. It was a trench set. Right here. Where these fields come together. These coyotes are running up and down these fields. Nice young coyote. It's got good color. Take care of them and move on. Okay, so uh, here we have our our third coon on this piece of property. Uh, old logging road here. Take a big log, stick it out half in the middle of the trail, and put a dirt hole set on the end of it. Uh, you'll catch about anything that comes down the trail. So anyway, we'll get them taken care of and uh, move on. Well, we got another skunk. <laughs> Must be a skunky year. Boy, this sucker, it's a, it's a beautiful skunk, though. Uh, got white almost all the way across his back. Just just a little black streak. Other than that, beautiful skunk. So, we'll get him taken care of and move on. Okay, back here at this same set, right here at the corner of this field. Uh, had a nice big coon in it there yesterday and there's what we have waiting for us again today. Another nice big coon. Get him taken care of move on. This is part of trapping. You don't really want them but you get enough of them to pay for your fuel. So the possum here is clogging up a nice coyote set. Destroyed it. So we'll get him taken care of. Move on. Okay, so uh, coyotes and stuff were crossing underneath this fence. Put a blind set in, big number four, big pan. Uh, try to catch a coyote. Sat for two days. Nice big old coon. Hind foot catch. We'll take a coon any day. Okay, guys, back on the big creek today. Got a dog proof set right there on the trail on a drowner rig. There's the end result. Another huge coon. Every one of these coons coming out of here 20 pounds plus. So it's a good coon. Get it reset and uh, move on. Alright guys, uh, doing a little bit of coon hunting tonight. And, uh, rubble dog there. Got a nice coon treat here uh, on the bank of this creek. I zoom in on the coon for you. Must have had the coon running in the creek because it's all wet. But, uh, there's the coon right up there. Nice coon. So, uh, there's the rebel dog. He's waiting on me to shoot it out. I'll shoot it out and uh, I'll carry on. So, uh, that's what's going on tonight. All right, get right back with you. Alright guys, there's our coon, he kind of fell in the creek, but uh, old rebel dog, he's a happy guy, nice coon, so uh, we're going to get him home, get him skinned, and uh, move on. That boy rebel dog, take a look at the camera for us. <laughs> Alright guys, we'll see you later. Okay guys, I know it's uh, windy, but... Got another nice, nice red fox here. Uh, this was a kind of a trench set slash dirt hole set I had right here. Uh, you can see this big draw. There's my truck over there. Big draw that splits two pieces of, of woods here. And all these animals run this draw to, uh, to cross back and forth. So a nice little dirt hole set. Trench set combination and 
produces a real nice red fox. So, uh, anyway, this is the uh, second trap I've checked today, so not doing too bad. Uh, we'll get him taken care of and we'll move on. All right. Okay, so uh, this set here, yesterday we had a coon in it, and today we have the whitest skunk I've ever caught. Uh, something about this year, I usually don't catch that many skunks, and this year I've caught, caught quite a few of them. But this one here, he's a little muddy, but you can tell he is almost completely white. So uh, anyway... We get him taken care of. We get him home and uh, I'll run him through the washer there and have a little better look at him once he's good and clean. But boy, that sucker there is just almost completely white. All right, talk to you all later. Okay, so I uh, hope you guys enjoyed them clips. Uh, you know, I know it was just catches, but uh, you know, they're fun to look at every once in a while anyway. Uh, Here's this skunk there I showed you in the last clip. Uh, I just kind of stuck him on a board wrong side out just so you can see. This is one of the wider skunks I've ever caught. Uh, he's got some real real neat markings. Almost completely white on the back. Uh, got the two nice black stripes there. And then on the belly, he's he's kind of got some spots and stuff going on. Just a, just a cool critter. I think skunks are, are so underappreciated. Uh, you know, they've got real, real nice fur. They're just a real real cool animal so uh anyway guys you know that's that uh hope you enjoyed and like i said here uh, stay tuned because hopefully in the next couple weeks we'll uh we'll really get with the uh the videos on everything you guys requested so uh till next time guys thanks for all the uh the support of my channel and uh happy trapping